Good morning, explorers. It's a beautiful Saturday, April 13th, and we're here at the Neptune Aquatic Center. Today, we're gonna go dive ROVs with the Sea Perch program. Let's check it out. My name is Justin Lee. I'm from the team of Staten Island Tech. Uh, I am the current design and build lead of the team. My name is Noah Abbas. Our team is from Staten Island. Our school is Staten Island Technical High School. I am Kang Si Yang. I'm a junior at Staten Island Technical High School. I'm the captain of SIS Special Operations Team. I think it's really, really interesting to me when I heard about Sea Perch because it's an underwater robotics competition. That kind of blew my mind when I first heard about it. We had a a Navy spokesperson, which she came in and basically explained Sea Perch to us. And since it was a new engineering team that we didn't really have at the time, and we found that we had funding for it, we just basically started a team, and here we are. It all started in freshman year. My coach told us about this new opportunity from the Navy that we can uh, participate in this new underwater robotics team. The thing that excites me the most about Sea Perch, in my opinion, I guess it would just be improving our design. At the time, we only had like two weeks to get started. I also love like making connections with people. I think this competition has really helped me building connections with people from other schools. We actually had a different design for our ROV in the beginning. We utilized pool noodles to control our buoyancy, and we found that being a little smaller allows us to have a little more thrust in the water and give us more speed. I think it is how you had to completely restructure the way you think, how you had to adapt to uh, physics and water and basically how stuff interacts in water. And I was like, this is super cool. I want to be a part of it. Everyone I know has been working really hard for to this moment. We found that our time was actually really fast compared to everyone else's. And so that gave us a really heightened level of confidence coming into the uh, the pool course. I'm a chief in the United States Navy and I am a United States Navy diver. Lots of them call me coach, uh, most of them call me chief. I am stationed here at NTAG Empire State as the Warrior Challenge Coordinator and I have been in the Navy nearly 15 years. My name is uh, Commander Rob Ballard, uh, call signs Wingnut. Uh, I am the commanding officer of Navy Talent Acquisition Group, Empire State. So today, uh, Sea Perch competition, uh, this is my third year being involved with the program. Uh, this is a program to encourage uh, robotics in uh, high school, in this case, uh, underwater robotics. I provided members from uh, my Warrior Challenge program. They reset the, the equipment in water throughout the course of the competition today the opportunities to do uh, integrated programs like, like Sea Perch where, where you have the elements of design and engineering and the marine environment. It's kind of co-funded and cooperatively done is a, is a really fantastic way to, to branch out all of your um, academics and kind of prove yourself in an engineering type environment where you get to apply the sciences and you get to see how they interact in the water. It gives these students a very solid foundation of how things work. The Navy has been sponsoring this program for a while. Uh, our involvement uh, from the recruiting command is really education portion and uh, getting uh, the Navy's uh, access to uh, schools that otherwise wouldn't know about these programs. What I'm most excited about today is uh, really seeing these uh, students interact with each other with the underwater robots that they built and trying to really see that enjoyment that they have and that hard work that they put into what they're doing. Good afternoon, Sea Perch! We're going to start the ROV demo portion of the day. Show of hands, who here has ever dove your ROV in any open water, whether that's a shoreline off a boat? Six people. Okay, cool. Hopefully today there'll be a lot more. The main thing that we focus on is imaging. We're talking multi-beam sonar, synthetic aperture sonar, or even just a standard 360 sweep. We can do some underwater mapping and get those dive teams into place because it's all about collaboration for deep sea exploration. If we have the opportunity to place a robot into a, a dangerous situation to quickly assess 
locate and give us the information that we need early, then I can place my divers on target faster, more efficiently, and more safer than I've been able to do in the past. With the ROVs, we have a controller. It could be an Xbox controller. It could be an Android tablet. We launch the system in the water just by dropping it overboard from a boat. We find the anchor line and motor down directly to the vessel, and now we're arriving at the shipwreck. You've got very, very beautiful reefs and shipwrecks, and you can actually get to those from our shorelines. There's even some freshwater springs and quarries in Pennsylvania that have these attractions. We've got two ROVs today. We're gonna have two parallel teams. Each team is gonna have someone handling the tether system while the other person pilots. See how I'm bracing this with one hand yes. and very slowly pulling on the other? Yep. If you go too fast, it'll overrun the shuttle and then turn into a big rabbit's nest. You're gonna come with me and help me manage the tether as we cross over. Okay, thruster safe, moving. I was watching the demo. Very interesting to look at, especially because you get like a live view of what the robot is seeing as it happens. Two of my team members were up there playing with the ROV that you guys have. I think it was really interesting on like just how it looks on the water. The camera shots are they're surprisingly very clear, but live streams can help us like inspire them to take the initiative to explore this area of study. The actual smoothness of the ROV was really, uh, really cool to see, especially because when we look at our sea perch ROVs that we build for competition, those seem to be a little jerky with their movement, especially because they aren't really refined by motor controllers. Sea perch is, uh, in this case, run by uh, Navy uh, Research Laboratories, NRL. Uh, it is a program that's come out of the Navy. It is uh, nationwide. Uh, there's different regional competitions coming up to a national competition. Uh, and we've seen the schools increase uh, probably about uh, doubled. Sea perch is important uh, for the upcoming generation here to be able to have that exchange of ideas with, with the Navy, what we know, what we've learned from our experiences and kind of showcase uh, the science and technology aspect of the service. Uh, but then also uh, just a general sense of community that's rooted in uh, not even just a competition, but shared ideas through science and technology and underwater robotics. Uh, I encourage everybody to have some form of service. Uh, maybe it is the Navy, maybe it's not, but certainly look, looking into that. There's a lot of other uh, websites, Navy.com, and same for the other services, and start doing your research to find out what is potentially right for you. Oh, she's doing real well. This guy's a natural pilot. Oh, yes. It's also a lot easier to see where you're going. Oh, it's really nice having a camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Headlights. Oh, thank you. This movement, like when I'm moving to the left or right, it's like almost immediately. Okay. So when we build our super turbo, it takes like delayed a few seconds. Kind of hard looking at it from above. That's why it's best to use two people, but it's yeah. also like telling them to reel in and reel it back out. It's really neat having that many thrusters because you can kind of mix the outputs and modulate that thrust vector and you can make it go any direction you please. That would definitely help with the second pull course because that was one of our problems. Okay. Good job. Thank you. That was a little scary. It's a good job. Oh! Yes, it is. It's almost like whoops to make it easier for you. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. It is really bright. Oh, my God. ROV ops and diving ops are not just a civilian thing, not just an academic thing, not just a Navy thing. It's more of a holistic aspect of how teams can work together. But that's what programs like this help to do because it gives them an idea of what it takes to get started towards that, those end goals in the armed forces. So what my job is to take somebody who might not be, even be a swimmer, but is extraordinarily dedicated, motivated to, to achieve one of these, and I train them to be the absolute best at that so that they're more likely to succeed once they go on to try to achieve these, these special warfare, special operations programs. Something we're planning to do uh, approaching our international competition is we're planning to add sort of a, bo a ballast system to our robot where we'll attach servos to the sides and uh, we'll be able to push and push out water and take in water like a piston and we'll be able to balance our bot that way as well. I believe we did incredible today. I'm really, really happy with it. We got a ton of awards such as the Ingenuity Award. Our open team managed to win the entire competition and we'll go to internationals. 
uh, the high school stock team got third place, and then we got second in the overall technical report. I am very, very happy with our results, and I'm looking forward to next year. We're really happy that we were able to accomplish so much in regards to winning these awards and also just coming back here again.